Today we're demonstrating how to download an ebook to your iPad using the Overdrive Media Console app. First, you'll need to download and install the Overdrive Media Console app on your iPad. Search the iTunes Store for Overdrive to find this free app. Tap the Overdrive icon on your iPad. This will open up the application and your collection of audio and ebooks downloaded through Overdrive. Click on the Get Books button in the upper right corner of the screen and we'll add the Digital Download Center. Tap Add a Website. This will open up your web browser. Tap in the search box and type in the name of your library. We'll search for the South Central Library System. This will bring up SCLS and all our 53 member libraries. Scroll to find your library and tap to select your choice. We'll use SCLS. Note that the Wisconsin Public Library Consortium comes up. SCLS is a member of WPLC, which is how we subscribe to OverDrive. Select this option to continue. This brings us to the Digital Download Center where we can search for audio or ebooks. From here, you can browse or search the collection for the formats that will work on the iPad, EPUB for ebooks and MP3 for audiobooks. I'll search for Beyond Tuesday Morning. Note the checkbox for show only available titles. I'll select the EPUB format and add to my cart. From here, you can continue browsing or proceed to checkout. We'll start the checkout process. First, select your library system. We're in the South Central Library System. Then enter your library card number. Then select Confirm Checkout. At the next screen, tap the Download button. This will bring back the Overdrive Media Console app. If this is the first time you're downloading an ebook, you'll need to create an, an Adobe ID and authorize the iPad with that ID. If you already have an ID, select Sign In. If you need to create one, choose Register at Adobe.com. This will open up your web browser again. At the Sign In page, select Create an Adobe Account and complete, complete the form. Remember the email address and password that you used to create this account. You'll need them to authorize your iPad. Select Continue and follow the instructions on the next screen. Be sure to sign out of your Adobe account. The sign out is in the upper right corner of the screen. I already have an Adobe ID, so I'll go back to the Digital Download Center and click on the Download button again. This time, I'll choose Sign In. Select Authorize with Adobe ID, enter your ID and password, then tap Authorize and your device will be activated. Notice that your Adobe ID is now included on the settings screen. You only need to do this once. Future checkouts and downloads will be much faster. Now that the iPad is authorized and activated, we're ready to download our title. Back to the Digital Download Center. And tap Download. Overdrive Media Console will appear again and our title will be loaded. The arrow at the right will give you more information about the title, including the expiration date. Tap the title to begin reading it. Oops. 
Use the arrow key in the upper left corner to return to your library. Tap the Get Books icon and note that the WPLC website is now listed here. Next time, tap this link to, to go directly to the Digital Download Center and search for books. Note the other options at the bottom of the screen, Settings, Help, and More. We'll go back to our library. When the title has expired or you've finished reading the book, you can delete the title from the iPad by selecting ed the Edit button at the top of the page. Note, you can't return books early from the iPad. Note the red button with the minus sign in it. Tap that, and then the red Delete button to remove the title. Tap Done when you're finished. This demonstration was conducted on an iPad, but OverDrive offers apps optimized for the iPhone and iPod Touch as well as other mobile devices. The process for downloading an ebook is the same. For help, please visit dbooks.wplc.info and select Help or contact your local library. Thanks for watching.